Hello everyone, Daniel HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up, configure, and install the Nintendo Entertainment System emulator Nestopia on LaunchBox. A lot of people already know how to configure this platform already, but this is for the individuals who are starting to get into emulation and need a straightforward way to play your platform on LaunchBox. I'll be doing each platform in the upcoming week, so subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out. I have my arcade folder here. And inside my arcade folder, I have my LaunchBox folder, my emulators folder where we're going to be storing the emulators, and the ROMs folder where we're going to be keeping our ROMs. For starters, you're going to need the emulator. I left a link in the description below to this website, the Emulator Zone. Here you can download Nestopia UE version 1.49 here. Alright, I've downloaded my Nestopia file and I've placed it here on my desktop. What we need to do is extract the contents of it into the emulator folder. So I'm going to open up my emulators folder here and I'm going to create a folder first and name it Nestopia. Now we're going to take our downloaded file here and we're going to extract the contents of it into the Nestopia folder. Once you're done extracting, you can get rid of the zip file. You won't need it anymore. Alright, we're going to run Nestopia for the first time. So we go into the Nestopia folder here and click on the Nestopia executable. First thing we're going to do is set the controls. So we go to Options, Input, and this window pops up. The first section is where you choose the controller number. There is pad 1 through 4. I'm only focusing on pad 1 and 2 right now. Section 2 is the actual control directions and you can't really interact with it. The third section here is where we're going to map our controls. I'm going to click on Clear because I don't want to use all the buttons, just the important ones. Whether you use a keyboard or a controller, you can press set all at the bottom and configure. Stop if there is the button you don't want to use and it will cancel out automatically after 5 seconds. Now on the far left go to view. In the toggle status bar section, change the toggle menu option to another key besides escape. We're going to be using it to escape out of the emulator by pressing the escape key. If you don't require this option, skip this advice. Once changed, go to the file section on the left and in the exit category, change the Alt X to the escape key. Feel free to change any other options you're familiar with. Now go to options, preferences, and in this window, we uncheck confirm exit and add a check to the switch to full screen on startup. Click OK and go ahead and close the emulator. Now let's set it up in LaunchBox. Alright, now that we're here in LaunchBox, click the three lines at the top left corner here. And then click Tools, Manage, Emulators. We're going to click Add. And in the Emulator Name section, we're going to type Nestopia. Now we set the path. Once again, my emulator is on Desktop, Arcade, Emulators, Nestopia, and the Nestopia executable here. I'm also going to go to the associated platform section and I make sure I type my platform name here, Nintendo Entertainment System. And I'm going to check this box here to set it as my default emulator. Click OK. Alright, now that we set up the emulator in LaunchBox, it's time to import the games. At the top right, we're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Click Next. And now we're going to click Add Folder. My ROMs are on my desktop, Arcade, ROMs folder. Click Select Folder. Click Next. What platform are you importing games for? Choose Nintendo Entertainment System. Next. It says, would you like to automatically install and configure RetroArch? We're not using RetroArch, so we're going to click Manually Configure Emulator. Choose an emulator, Nestopia, make sure that's selected. Click Next. Use files in its current location. Next. 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 Make sure the games are spelled correctly. And then click finish. Now that the ROM files are imported, it's time to test out the games. Here's a little bit of Bucky O'Hare. 
and here's Batman the video game. And that is the end of our video. Thank you everyone for watching. If this video helped you out at all, support the channel and drop a like and subscribe. I've created more tutorials for other emulators as well. You can click on the thumbnails on the screen. As always, I'm Donnell HD, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.